Hey everyone, in this lesson we're going to talk about Lyme disease. So Lyme disease is an infection due to spirochete bacteria of the species Borrelia burgdorferi, uh, which is native to North America, or Borrelia gerinii or Borrelia abzellii, which are native to Europe and Asia. So the Borrelia bacteria is transmitted by the exotis tick pictured here. And the tick itself will actually be infected with the Borrelia bacteria after biting a small rodent. So the small rodents, uh, such as mice or rats, actually act as the primary reservoir for Borrelia bacteria. White-tailed deer act as the host for ticks. So the cycle of transmission is as follows. The tick, uh, an uninfected tick, will bite an infected small rodent will carry the Borrelia bacteria, will either transmit the Borrelia bacteria to another small rodent, it can transmit it to a human through biting, and uh, generally will um, attach itself to the host, white-tailed deer, and will lay eggs, and this cycle will continue. After tick attachment, an infection of Lyme disease generally occurs at least 36 hours after tick attachment or after the tick has bitten onto a patient. So the clinical presentation of Lyme disease changes as time progresses in the disease. There are three different stages of Lyme disease. Stage one is considered an early localized stage of infection. It usually occurs 7 to 14 days after a bite. The patient experiences malaise, fatigue, headache, and myalgias. And there's a characteristic skin lesion uh, known as erythema migrans. This is called the bull's eye target. It's non-puritic and it's, it expands. So the outer ring will continue to expand out and there will be a red center but it is a non-puritic um, skin uh, lesion. Stage 2 is considered an early disseminated stage. It usually occurs within weeks after uh, a tick bite. There are central nervous system symptoms such as neuritis, cranial nerve palsies, and meningitis. There's also cardiac symptoms. We see something known as Lyme carditis occur in this stage. This is where we see myocarditis and some AV blocks. Uh, could be first degree, second degree, or even third degree block. In stage three, this is considered a late persistent uh, stage. This usually occurs months to years after uh, a tick bite. The patient experiences chronic arthritis, could be monoarticular or oligoarticular. There's also neurological symptoms involved. There's uh, symptoms such as neuropathy, meningitis, and encephalopathy. And with regards to infections with Borrelia abzellii, we see uh, another uh, characteristic skin uh, rash known as acrodermatitis chronica atrophicans. So it's a reddened skin rash in different parts of the body. An easy way to remember the clinical presentation for Lyme disease is the mnemonic, bake a key lime pie. So we've heard of key lime pies. Many of us have eaten key lime pies. So you got to think of bake a key lime pie. The clinical presentation is in the word bake. B stands for Bell's palsy. There's also arthritis. We mentioned this before. There's also um, cardiac block. We use K for cardiac, even though it doesn't spell cardiac, but this is an easy way to remember it. So cardiac block could be first degree, second degree, or third degree AV block. And the E stands for erythema migrans. So those are the four uh, keys for clinical presentation of Lyme disease to help us remember what the clinical presentation of Lyme disease is. Bell's palsy, arthritis, cardiac block, erythema, erythema migrans. 
So how do we diagnose and treat Lyme disease? The diagnosis can be concluded through the clinical presentation, such as seeing a characteristic bullseye target lesion, such as erythema migrans. Or we can do serology, looking for anti-Borrelia burgdorferi antibodies. We can use ELISA's or Western blot to detect these antibodies. For treatment, treatment depends on the stage of the illness. Stage one, we use amoxicillin or doxycycline or cefiroxime. For stage two to three, we want to use ceftriaxone. For prevention of Lyme disease, we want to take care to um, ensure that there are no tick bites. But if there are tick bites, we want to use an, an antibody prophylactic treatment. And that is normally doxycycline. We usually use this within 72 hours of a tick bite. But with doxycycline, we always want to remember that it is contraindicated during pregnancy, uh, lactating women and for children under the age of eight years old. So anyways, guys, I hope you found this lesson helpful. That was a quick lesson on Lyme disease. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.